we're going to be reviewing Bad Boys for Life. Bad Boys for Life is a Sony Pictures film, and it was directed by Adil L. Arby and Baal Fala, I think is how you pronounce his name. Bad Boys 3 is about Mike Larry and Marcus Burnett getting back together for another adventure. This is the third film in the franchise. This film's plot is about a guy who has a list of targets that he is hunting down and killing one by one. The great thing about this movie is this has more of a story that's connected to the main characters. It's more personal and the stakes are a lot higher which gets you more invested into the film. This movie is fun action, so if you're looking for a fun action film, I would recommend this one. The action in this film is pretty good. I personally got somewhat bored a little ways through the film because I'm not really a big Bad Boys fan. I've never been a massive fan of this franchise, so I wasn't personally excited to see this, but I checked it out, and it was a great film. I did like it. I thought it was good, but it did have very slow moments throughout that just dragged. Could have maybe cut the movie down by 15-20 minutes. But if you're just looking for something that's fun and you like action and you're just looking for an action-packed film with not a serious strong storyline, I would recommend seeing this in theaters if that's what you're looking for. If you're not and you're looking for a story, I would wait to rent. So my recommendation on this one is going to be based off of what you're in the mood for. As for the trailer, the trailer is very accurate with this one. What you see in the trailer is what you're going to get. Fun, high-speed chases action pieces, some comedies in there. The relationship between the two characters is still there. I personally enjoy these movies, but I don't consider them super good. Uh, they're just kind of just fun action movies where it's like I'd watch on a Saturday afternoon. So if that's what you're looking for, this is perfect for you. I'm not sure where the franchise is going, but I will say the ending of this movie is horrible. I don't know why they went this direction why they decided to make this decision but they did there's one scene in particular where they're driving on a motorcycle it's very obvious that it was done through green screen and i don't know why they held the shot for so long but it looks really bad i hate to nitpick movies but this was so bad it just draws you out of the picture and can point out and be like yeah that's fake one thing that really annoyed me about this movie though is they kept singing the bad boys theme song there were four different times where they sung that song or played that song and I really didn't see the point in it. One of the plus sides about this movie is the villain is way better than the previous installments. The villain's more connected to the main characters and he's a lot smarter and he does a lot more than just kill his own people and act really tough. He actually has like a point, a purpose. I just personally like the villain a lot more than the other two installments. I thought he had more of a reasoning to be there and he was much smarter than the other villains. I'm going to give Bad Boys for Life a C+. Thanks for tuning in again, guys. The next review I'm going to be doing is The Gentleman, and I am looking forward to seeing that one because I am a Matthew McConaughey fan. So that's one I've been looking forward to see for a while. I will let you know how it is, so just stay tuned on my channel, and I'll catch you movie fans on the next review.